and I don't want it to be intimidating. Even for people who have no experience, this is something really simplistic, and it's something that I feel like is an obtainable upgrade. Hey, welcome back to a video. That's right, a video. Today's video is going to be the most stylish and cost-effective upgrade you can do to your PC setups, you know, kind of like that. It is something that I think for an upgrade that adds such, I think, personality to your setup, it's really affordable. Now it's going to come in uh, between 10 and $15 and it is going to be a power switch key. Now you would typically, let me put it against the darker background, you would typically power up your computer by pressing the power button located directly on the case. In this case, this sucker plugs directly into your motherboard. The wire is very long, you wire it out the back, and you can put it wherever. Now it is magnetized, so it'll stick to anything that's magnetic. I do have some metal on my desk and obviously my case is magnetic. <laughs> um, it's very metally, <laughs> but it's very versatile. And now it does come with two very thin stickies. I misplaced them, so excuse my visuals, but it does come with like little circles about this big and they are very thin. They're metallic and then there's a thin layer on the back of sticky so you can put them on the bottom of your desk and maybe more unconventional places that happen to not be magnetic on your setup under your monitor <laughs> even whatever you happen to do i don't actually leave it here i haven't found a place that i super duper love yet and i don't have actually i'll get into that later but i haven't found a place i super duper love yet so i just honestly keep it on my case on the side because i still think it's cool i did get the white one it comes in black as well this one does light up so you could get a keycap that allows light to come through now i took it off as an example i can't put it back on because it'll turn my computer off <laughs> but it's just like a regular keyboard keycap so you have the switch there's an led under it you have the, the cap, obviously, the actual. Now, if you have some customs, this is where they will have their time to shine, as you can swap it out. It's, again, like a regular mechanical style keyboard where you can swap out the, the caps. So I have a few that I've been swapping out, and I want to purchase more because I like decorating for holidays. But I think it's really cool that now that if you have a bunch of customs that you can switch them out and they have a little bit more purpose than just a key you rarely use on your keyboard. And one that isn't as appreciated because it it is unique in my opinion i think this is something that's really cool it makes your setup stand out and for what it adds and kind of like that nice pizzazz it is again the title of the video a more affordable probably the most affordable coolest upgrade that you could do to your pc in my opinion you know not something that you just you know you buy a figurine for your desk this is something that you integrate into your pc it's really cool Getting on to setup though, so in the bottom right hand corner of your motherboard you're going to have 12 pins. A few of those are responsible for your power on, off, the reset switch, etc. So normally your case comes with these wires in them already and you plug them in so that your case can be responsible. In this case you're going to unplug those and you're going to plug in the ones that are attached to the other end of your uh, keys wire. So they're labeled, all you have to do is figure out what motherboard you have, and if you already know, just look up the manual for your motherboard and see what it designates out of all those 12 pins, which one is responsible for what, and just line them up. They're all labeled, sometimes it's even labeled on the motherboard, so just line up power switch to power switch, positive, negative, same with reset and um, LED I think will be one of them. So as long as you do that, you're going to be good. Now your this will maybe take you five minutes. It'll probably be more time consuming taking your computer out and putting it back in than actually installing this device. So be that yeah, I feel like this is the type of upgrade that is just super simple, really accessible to a lot of people, even if you're not too computer savvy. And hopefully if this has interested you, you're maybe going to get it, maybe add it to your next upgrade. I will say I didn't just buy it to do that alone. I was getting a new motherboard at the time, so it kind of was just simple. I had my case out. I was rewiring everything, it was super duper easy, and it kind of just was convenient, but it's not the most inconvenient to just do alone as its own standalone upgrade. I say upgrade as if you're getting better specs, but I mean upgrade in regards to just adding something new to your setup, something fresh. I think it's pretty stylish. I think it's cool that you can change out the keycap on it, so you can actually customize it even more. Let's say you have specific themes going on, if you have a theme for a certain anime or just color schemes, you can match it to that. I don't have too many keycaps, I'm trying to get more custom ones because I do really like them, but I didn't really have a purpose before this. And now I have a very good reason to spend more money. <laughs> but like I said before everyone, I just think that for the price, like I said, between $10 and $15 is typically how much this part costs. It is super, super easy to install. It's not very inconvenient whatsoever, honestly, even if you aren't already doing an upgrade, I feel like it's something super quick to do and just add in. I feel like it elevates the setup a lot for, for something that's not too time consuming and not too expensive i feel like the benefit that you get 
and just the heightened feel that it provides to your setup is really valuable and I admired it quite a bit personally and that's why I made this video. So let me know what you guys think down below, let me know if you liked it, let me know if you have other parts that are kind of similar that you could recommend, and let me know if you do end up getting this and if you've gone through it, how it works for you, if you like it, maybe you've tried it and you didn't like it. Whatever it is, let me know. Hell, if you just want to spam your keyboard because YouTube just likes when people comment, I don't really mind. Um, thank you so much if you made it this far. Let me know if you have any questions, if you're hesitant and need some opinions. I do actually have a TikTok that I went over that I can also link of me. It's more kind of installation based. It's a very quick video. If you can just see how I do it in full, I can link that down below as well. Just let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this is something that maybe some of you are going to consider because I really liked it and I really wanted to share it with everyone just because of how much joy it's brought me. <laughs> I know it's kind of silly to say, but I don't know, just for the price, I feel like a kid again. No, <laughs> that upgrade really just made me feel like a kid again. I was like, oh, nope, just, I don't know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely, do lovely, be lovely, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.